Whilst Wings do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, is someone hey, paid? Oh! Hey everyone, this is Pure Fred, and today I'm bringing you a pretty simple video. This is going to be neck cut only, and it's about their new update. So, if you've used neck cut today, or whatever at this point when this video is up it's already been updated you'll notice that the ui is a little bit different it's a little bit more zoomed in um we will now we now have a points we now have a whole points system the whole ui was reworked uh, you know minimally but it was reworked devices is here account is here shop and we have records which has always been here so i'm going to be explaining to you this new update how it works etc etc i'm not going to be explaining how you have to use netcut with your console i'm not going to be showing you how to do gta glitches i'm going to just be showing you how to use netcut with the new update you must already know how to use netcut basically i already have videos on that check those out come back here this is going to be mainly for the free users of netcut paid users you don't really need to watch this video everything's the same for you points aren't really a big thing for you points are a big thing for free users so right now i've logged out of my account i'm i'm like one of you guys now i'm like a free user right now so everyone can now use console lock everyone can now use everything paid users netcut pro nothing has changed for you guys you guys are still the same over there you guys just have the ui update the points are not really for you free users you can now use console lock. From now on, if you watch my videos and I use console lock, you can use console lock too. I don't want to hear any more excuses of, I can't afford it, I can't pay for it. Okay, not everyone has money, I understand. But that's not my problem. So don't come into my comments with you telling me you can't afford it. If you can't afford it, don't do it. So, now you can. Now you can do console lock. So let's get into the system. So if you click on points, it'll bring you to this points section where you can earn points. This is a this will all be updated at some point. So what you see now might be different tomorrow, might be different next month. If it's very if it changes major if it changes majorly, I'll make a different video. So this is the reward center. You can check it out often. There is rewards that include points and the plans minutes. I'm going to be explaining everything soon. Points points can be used to ex exchange for time of using a plan. So, while this is running, I'm going to head back over to the shop. So, here you have a new, a new page called the shop page. This will all be changed. This is just the basic first website. Everything here will be kind of updated. The, the, the words will be changed. It will be rewritten. Just give us some time. So, we have the speed section, the lag, micro speed, console lock, YouTube solo public session, etc. We're going to be focusing mainly on console lock. Sure, there are glitches that involve you lagging your console, like magic slots, etc. But we're going to be focusing on console lock for this video specifically, because that's the big one. So, what it basically says is, what is, it, what is the feature of console lock? Right now it just says console lock, but it basically allows you to lock your console, which you should already know what that is. You can go watch my other videos on that. When you redeem, when you buy minutes... It'll let you have 60, 600 minutes per cycle. Basically, you can get up to 600 minutes of console lock per week. 600 minutes is 10 hours. You don't, that's like a lot of time. You, you won't be locking your console for, for like a crazy amount of time. One week, 600 minutes per week is very good. It's like very, 10 hours of console lock. What you'll do basically is, You'll go to this points button, which I have now pressed, and it's opened up this new tab. And you basically will stay here, and you'll let this circle finish its whole thing. Right now, it's basically showing you ads, and, you know, you view ads, and you get points for that, pretty much. So, once this gets to 100%, which is, it's just about to, we're going to receive a couple things. Now, if this is your first time doing this, you're going to get a big reward. You're going to get a lot of stuff. I'll show you right now. So click claim reward. And now that it's been claimed, it's going to give you a timer. You can just press close. You're going to see a lot of rewards start coming in here before you press close. If you press close, I'll show you everything. But if you're on, still on this page, you basically receive speed control for 30 minutes, lagging for 10 minutes, micro speed control for 10 minutes. Maybe it's doubled over here, two micro speeds. 
Um, you've received console log for 10 minutes, YouTube control for 30 minutes, solo public session for about 30 minutes, and you, you've received 150 points. So click close. Once you come back here, you'll see that you received a ton of stuff. What, what they're going to do is, whenever they update it, every few minutes, every X amount of time, every whatever, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 5 minutes, they'll, they'll decide. You'll be receiving free points, you'll be receiving free awards, you'll be receiving free, by awards I mean these little things up here. You'll be receiving minutes for stuff that you can do. So now I have 150 points. Let's say I want to go. I want to. I want to be able to lock my console, and I don't have Pro, but I have points. What you can do is you can go to console lock, press buy minutes, and for a thousand points, you could buy ten minutes of console lock, for example. So let's say you've had a thousand points, you've redeemed it, you now have ten minutes of console lock. What you would do is you go back to devices. You're gonna press on network. With this little this little icon right here lock and you're going to basically lock your console and here you could use your minutes now for the first time of us watching the video we've received 10 minutes of console lock so what we can do is you can go to your console click to lock you said console and we have 10 minutes so we're going to press start use and now we have 10 minutes of lock of our console being able to get locked right now it's being locked so this is how free people can use it now you see the time is going down so you want to you want to be able to you want to lock your console right away, do your glitches, do it as fast as you can while you still have the time. Once the time runs out, you would head back over to the points page and do the points again, over and over. This is this is free. This is the this is for free users. This is what the whole update is. It's basically ways to redeem. It's basically ways to get console lock it's ways to get stuff that you would usually have to pay for just by watching ads it's the free way if you don't like that buy NECA pro it's 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 really not that much buy it you know but it's up to you so if you go to the account page now you can see how you can see all your statistics if you will of everything of how much minutes of the name of what you're using the minutes in use, so right now I still have 8 minutes and 55 seconds of console lock ability, um, the access of what you, whatever it is you're using. Here you can actually have a balance screen, so let's say I have 30 minutes of speed, it'll show that I have 30 minutes of speed control, of balance. It gives you the maximum amount of time that you could have, so you can't go past 600 minutes per week of, like let's say, console lock. You can't go to 610 minutes of using it per week. They always reset one week from today. All this resets in one week. All the time. So you want to try to use as much as you can before it resets. There's no more waiting for anything. You don't have to wait for anything. You just redeem your minutes and you can use your thing. You, re you get points. You redeem it for minutes. You do whatever you want with that. This is all for free users. I'm a pro user. Believe it or not. Most people are. But not everyone can afford it. Not everyone can pay. It happens. You know, it is what it is. So your go-to now is this free points system, if you will. And it works out pretty well. I mean, for the first time, you'll get a lot of stuff. Let's say you want to lag your console. It'll ask you, do you want to use minutes? You'll say, yeah, let me get, uh, let me use 10 minutes of being able to lag my console. You start using it, minutes started, great, close. So now you have ability to just drop. You have the ability to change how much, you know, speed control it is. You have the ability to do everything now. Drag and drop, like like I would if I was if I was using Pro. You could just drag and drop. You can lock. I'm sorry. You can lock, unlock, etc. You can do lag. You can do micro speed, which I have not done micro speed yet. YouTube is for for parents who don't want their children using YouTube, which is another use of net cut but you're here pretty much for the for the gta glitches solo public session i'll explain this before we finish up the video solo public session was something that was in the works for a couple months which you've seen that i teased in a video a while ago solo public session was just not, was not just your average whatever drag drop everyone lags out solo public session was one of the best buttons before they updated gta now in gta solo public session is useless 
you can go sell everything in invite onlys now. What this button did was make it to where you would only ever load into solo public sessions. Nobody could be in your session except you. Literally nobody. And he was going to add, the owner of Netcut was going to add a whitelist. What is a whitelist? Basically, let's say you have one friend that you want to be able to join your session. You could add him to a whitelist and only that person can join your session. Otherwise, it's only you. You can add 10 people. Those 10 people only could join your session. Nobody else could join. That was the, it was pretty much the best solo public session because the older ones, let's say you were doing a solo public session and your friend was in there and you were selling cargo and some random joined. If you tried to lag, your friend would get lagged out of the session. So you were kind of screwed. You had to try to kick them out of the session. Solo public session, this button right here would pretty much allow you to just be literally solo. No, you could restart your Xbox. You could restart your game, load into the public session. You'd be by yourself. And when the whitelist would be added, anyone that you, anyone that you wanted could join and nobody else could join. So now, unfortunately, it is kind of useless. If you somehow still have a use for it, which I can't even think of, but you guys could, it's right there for you. It's possible to be used. More buttons can and will be added. But for right now, this is just a basic video explaining what the point system are, how to use them. You basically earn points and you could redeem them for minutes. Minutes reset every week. Use them as much as you can. Enjoy it. So please don't tell me you can't do console lock anymore because you can it's free you don't need to pay for it anymore but netcut pro is always there i highly recommend it sure you could say i'm biased because i do this and i make videos and stuff but it's just very easy to use it's up to you guys it's your money not mine so hopefully you guys understand the system a little bit more um like I said, this is mainly for free users, which there shouldn't be many of, but again, it's, everyone has their own situation of money, but this is a very, it, 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 this is, this is the best thing for free users. You guys can now do everything just by watching ads. The UI, good job, Arkai. Seriously. I like this. I like the new bolder UI. Um, and one thing I've always wanted was customizable colors in the back. Like, you see how this is dark gray? I've always wanted to make it, like, different colors. Like, I don't know, green, purple, red. Um, that's just, that's always been one thing that I've always wanted. So, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Arkai, thumbs up for me. You guys did a great UI update. You guys did a great system. Good work, seriously. And hopefully you guys understand this update a little bit better. And you know the deal. I'm out. Pure Fred style. Peace.